Although we know 2020 has been a difficult year in many ways, we have taken a look back at some of our highlights. In January, the 2019 rail franchising litigation was listed as one of the lawyers' top 20 cases of the year. The judge dismissed the claimant's claims in their entirety and Fanula and I acted for the successful defendant. I was delighted to join Keating Chambers in February and to continue building my international arbitration practice at such a great set. In February, we collected the first award of 2020, Legal 500 Construction and Energy Set of the Year. Our next award was for the LexisNexis Chambers of the Year. And we were fortunate enough to share the stage with Baroness Hale, who accepted her Lifetime Achievement Award. Krista Lee took Silk in March and was one of five women to feature on the front cover of the Lawyer magazine that month. In lieu of events we were due to hold in the spring, we made donations to four separate charities as voted for by our clients. In April, we produced our first ever live webinar to an audience of just under 400 people. Since then, we've produced 20 episodes in the series and these can be found on our website or YouTube page. I was delighted to join Chambers in July, adding planning and environmental regulation to Chambers' existing practice areas. We announced our sponsorship of Pulse Network Club and we look forward to competing in our joint tournament next year. At Keating, we're always delighted when we achieve our aim and all of our pupils become tenants. This year, it's great news that John Steele, Tom Saunders and Ben Graff all successfully completed their pupillage and have now become members of Chambers. In the summer, Don passed his ILM Level 5 Diploma in Leadership and Management and I passed my BTEC Award in Chambers Administration. In September, we pledged to fund a criminal bar pupillage affected by the financial impact of COVID-19. In December, we persuaded seven other commercial sets to do the same, with hopefully more to come. We have also transferred the funds to the set that we are helping just in time for Christmas. Following the death of George Floyd, both Chambers and the wider commercial bar have undertaken initiatives in an attempt to improve diversity of the bar. And as a result, I am a member of the Fair Recruitment Committee in Chambers and the Black Inclusion, Inclusion Group, which is a group set up by the specialist bar, bar associations looking to increase diversity at the commercial bar. On Marcus's last day as head of Chambers, we were delighted to be named the Lawyers Chambers of the Year. I was honoured to take over as head of Keating Chambers in October and I'm looking forward to building on our successes in 2021 and beyond. I was promoted to Senior Practice Manager. Congratulations to Rob Garvin, Tanya Gocknell and Oscar Lee for also getting promotions. Our final award for 2020 was for Construction Set of the Year, awarded by Chambers and Partners. This is a great achievement to end our year. We recently launched Keating Chambers The Podcast, which is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. The series includes case updates, historical case reviews, interviews of legal experts and discussions of life in Chambers. In December, the 11th edition of Keating on Construction Contracts was published. Over 30 members of Chambers have contributed to various chapters. I'd like to thank them and of course my co-editor for their contribution and hard work. Really pleased to hear on the 16th of December that I've been recommended for appointment as QC. Uh, that should take effect from about March next year. What a way to end the year. So on behalf of everyone at Keating Chambers, I'd like to thank everyone who played a part in Chambers' success this year. And we send our best wishes for 2021.